Hi Collective, how are you doing? Welcome to Self Discovery Support. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be a pick a card and um, it's your messages from the universe. So this reading offers a window into your story. My main goal is to transmit the information to help empower you and we'll start with looking at, um, you know what, <laughs> this is my regular um, spiel that I do, but we're going to do, um, we're going to just do a simple eight card spread and just tap into your story. Today I'm using the White Newman Tarot and um, if I'm called to use anything else, I'll, I'll say what it is as I'm going. So let's hop in. All right. So main thing, the main thing is please pick A or B. So, if you um, if you, you have picked that, um, you know, I'm hoping that people are familiar from my um, shorts that I do with a pick A or B. Yeah, I was trying to figure out a pick a card method that would work for me. And um, I just think keeping it simple is best. So, they're always going to be A or B. Um, yeah, so let's kick it off. This is the first in this series of a or b long readings all right so let's get into it if you chose a let's tap into your story and see um what messages come up for a for group a for group a god <laughs> um okay why am i saying this why am i saying this groovy all right let's see if i can um put these more in camera group a if you chose group a i just have to take a, a minute and say there's there's some greatness that you're on the verge of like i don't even have to look at the cards and see that why am i saying this we have eight cards here and i you saw me shuffling them every one of these cards is a major arcana card now in the tarot the major arcana is the major life forces the major things that happen in life these are normally like stages or phases in life that are that bring big change bring big stages phases of life you're someone that is on the verge of absolute greatness um Alright, we're gonna look at it. I'm seeing some things coming out, but I really feel like let's let's look at your hidden energy and you're gonna know why. I'm gonna just say that you have a, almost like a journey. Group A, you have been on a journey. There is a, a really bold new beginning awaiting you. There's things that I know haven't been um, fair and balanced and I feel like many of you, you went through some endings, right? There's something that had to change in your life. I do think that this was a period of um, reflection, like deep um, inner work. Um, there's things in your life that you know had to change. Um, some of, for some of you, it could be to do with um, a love connection. <clears throat> 
and there's a very um karmic energy involved here justice judgment wheel of fortune um the universe is also helping you to balance certain things for yourself but yeah i was gonna show you the the back of the deck the empress so this is a group that you have been through a period where you've almost had to recalibrate the tower is not here so i'm not feeling like um i'm not feeling that this was a sudden thing this was um change that you really spent time thinking about i feel like this has happened over a, a course of many years um for all of this to happen in one year would have been like highly dramatic so you can see if that is you but i don't know how long this took you but this is like lifetime change type of thing you know um <clears throat> i'm gonna say that i think there is um a love connection that was kind of um i did mention the word karmic in nature what is that it brought out um it allowed you to see things so we're not seeing the devil here but they allowed you to see things about the path that you were on it allowed you to really understand um the approach um maybe you felt like you lost yourself in this connection as well um <clears throat> but even if it's not connection it's about choices that you had to make you know it can be choice a choice to change something happened or you're just um let me get my phone alarm you're just i feel like you're the type of person that's pretty reflective pretty um almost like you assess that it was time for you to make some some different actions in your life and you took yourself on a path a journey um I am always feeling like this connection that you entered or you were in produced like the the purpose for that connection was to change the path that you were going on if that makes sense and I think you learned so much from it like there was so much that came alive or you were made aware of that you you really had to sit and think about this and almost like that part of yourself kind of you allowed certain things to fall away to let it to be let go and if you're, you're probably in this process now as well for some of you timelines can be different but you you just know that like okay things need to be balanced here the universe is also like giving you nudges so i feel like some of you have been through some kind of either a dark night of the soul an awakening that type of thing um there's a call there is a call for you and it's almost like having gone through that process where you leave off like you, you end here this is you saying i choose success i choose um the path forward for myself i choose optimism as well um for me new beginnings so some of you might be um deciding to move travel you're taking on something in your own hands like something i think there's a fear or how to say there's fears that you probably had in your life from before that you are deciding to you know to take that jump whatever it is the empress though and i want to show you this right under that strength so this is someone who definitely has gone on a journey of knowing self-worth knowing what it is that they need to do to step forward it's almost like a recalibration of a whole person and so i want to say that is a tough journey strength needed to do that it hasn't been easy and even your even your hidden energy is major arcana i i don't think i've had this happen before maybe only once in readings um <laughs> group a you are tough cookies 
you are wise beyond your years and you're entering a path that I feel some hesitation um, of course that is going to happen but I do feel like you're also going to embrace the direction that you're going in success in new beginnings is an, an outcome that is here I want to get um, let's look at um, what look at this I split the deck it's the black Newman card in this deck which talks about um, things decaying things being let go of yeah I feel like a lot of you have come through a really difficult time in your life um, I want to feel like people who are draining your energy drawing on your um, who are kind of defining your life and that is a time where it's like universe is saying like let this go and i feel like you're there you're working with that so i want to get a little bit of advice for you see advice here for group a seven of cups okay so i feel like um i'm gonna see this as dreaming dream for what you want now you are creating options don't um don't narrow yourself into one path. Explore the options. See the possibilities. Yeah. So, there you go. Let's get another one. What else here? Six of Swords. So, this is you moving forward. As I was saying, travel if you need to journey somewhere. If you need to leave behind physically um, places, people, and things, this is your choice. Open up the options for yourself. Don't narrow or constrict your world now because the universe wants things to be balanced for you. So this really tells me that there is some connection, family, situation, whatever it is that you really had to leave because it was, it was just so apparent. All right, let's get one more ace of cups new opportunities new emotionally fulfilling opportunities all right so this is some of you may have um been people that chose to stay in connections where you weren't getting anything do you know like you were not getting anything from that connection but the option is coming now and i know that it's difficult to move forward but i see that you've done all this work because that is major energy there's gonna be um things that pop up so it's like if we look at the this together you're gonna be presented with options and opportunities and the to choose the the, to choose moving forward to make your path clearer is to actually choose one cup so you're going to take that time to consider options going to come in take your time and i always say use your intuition as well but be guided to move forward you have done a lot of work so trust that and choose always the path that is emotionally fulfilling for you okay so this is your reading group a i'm gonna leave it here and of course do let me know um if you like this if you um see anything in this for yourself so take care and i will see you back here again hopefully take care all right hi if you chose group b this is gonna be your reading and Let's get into it. Okay, so for group B, please tell us their story and the message.
all right so your hidden energies is seven of pentacles five of wands so there's some kind of waiting um <clears throat> for you group b i'm seeing yeah there's a lot of kind of patient energy like you're waiting on something um in your life you're waiting on something to happen like you feel a sense of restriction here all right i'm gonna say it this this group um i'm hoping you can see everything on camera this group i feel like um <clears throat> you're the group that potentially is in a connection uh, i'm gonna say like a long-term connection it can be marriage can be something like that um this one is the page of swords since we can't see that that you are feeling a little bit um i feel like you don't feel like it's feeding you but you're waiting um i think it's your group that you may be hanging on to a connection that you know or you feel you probably need to let go there's something that's not making you happy um at least in the very least there's a lot that you are thinking about you're a lot you're contemplating other thing i'm seeing here is um if if you are not in a connection now that is long term you are considering that with someone but you're holding back a little bit um you're trying to like I think you're trying to take in everything like assess everything what i can say is that you do want to have i think you're thinking a lot about it you do want to have some kind of new fulfillment some kind of emotional connection you want to take or create an opportunity here for yourself which of course you should if you are um if you are in anything that is difficult and if you are wanting to move ahead with someone and you feel that that is the thing for you and this is going to be the group for you yeah so um guys this is um all right so let's look at it i feel like many of you have I think you felt like you 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 may feel stuck in a connection you may feel like you have had to sit and really think about something for a long time or the energy in that connection is not moving like it's not in a growth period anymore um and it's certainly not at a point where you feel happy with it ten of wands and the four of wands this is feeling burdened in something that should be happy this is ace of cups page of swords wanting to figuring out how you can get to that place again of being emotionally fulfilled emotionally satisfied a love offer being presented and you kind of trying to figure it out like you're curious about it but should i take it there's a hesitation um, so that tells me that maybe this person that you're connected to, there's there's probably a past or a history involved um, that could be this ten of wands that we're thinking about. There's a lot of okay. There's a lot of conflict here about investing in something. I feel like for 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 Group B, this is someone that. I think you're tied to them in some way like you're connected to them in some way maybe in the material um so as i said it could be marriage it could be um a relationship it could just be that you have a history or a past together but you still think about it um even if you think you know like no oh, i don't want this thing i don't think about it it's here it's in the energy and the page of swords is someone that kind of keeps an eye on something keeps on is curious um, if you don't connect to this, this could be someone who is interested in that with you as well. 
there's something I can't get over like something that you want to be successful in something that you want to have happiness in but it just equates to being such um such a load also I'm feeling like for many of you there's another story coming through there's some of you that want there's someone that you want to commit to but because you you are so uncertain or um you you think a lot about this you're worried about it that keeps you away from taking action or participating in it and therefore the possibility of having happiness with this person is held back or it holds itself back from you um i'm gonna bring this up five of cups all right so five okay there's something about change here so it's like you want to invest in this but this could be a um this connection could have been particularly difficult there's been like loss and heartbreak and um com conflict between both of you and it's just like i want to invest but i i'm waiting to do that or if i invest i think that it's going to end up in conflict again or sadness um, but I'm seeing that this can be healed this can be healed for some of you you desire to um, end this depending on where you fall in this cycle for some of you you desire there's a desire for this to be over any kind of loss pain even if you want to restart with this person there's a desire to reset that and you're just trying to figure out can i can we actually get to that place um and so because of that you you are patient with yourself i do feel like you're patient with this connection like that waiting process is very difficult for you um this could be people who are in separation from each other and for some of you you could be waiting to end a connection waiting to to have a renewal all right so let's get some advice for you knight of pentacles the white newman the knight of swords the empress so both you um group a and b have the empress in their energy um closing so all right this could be someone you have your eye on or you're just at a point where you have um more self-worth um a greater sense of empowerment and what you want in life knight of pentacles okay so this this is saying take a slow hand be consistent and patient to build towards a new beginning we saw the seven of pentacles if this connection this particular one um, needs a little bit of investment um knight of pentacles energy steady it's it's gonna be steady work to have this new like creation this new start things change um and if this is not this same connection starting again this is a new start knight of swords you are going to have to um for many of you you are going to have to be um communicative this this particular one involves some kind of action taking your time to build up uh, and then you can move act on it so it's almost like a phase that has to happen some truths have to be discussed as well i think i see between both of you whoever this person is for you yeah because what you're wanting is to come out of this as the empress right you want to be a, a partner that is um solid you also want to have a solid partner um the empress is the divine feminine and so this could be who you're inviting into your life or or the energy that you're embodying stepping into yeah guys so this is um 
I'm seeing that you're at a really this is about like decisions to move forward decisions to almost like resolve something it's like how do you clean something up even if this is your energy um, and not just the relationship energy how do you clean how do you cure and heal something and how do you take actions to to act on the things that make you happy I think the universe is presenting you a plan here um, how to do that so you might need to ground yourself be a little bit more um, take your time with it and then once you're able to create what you need to create with this person then always always act in your truth don't hold back from um, sharing your thoughts your opinions be communicative and also have a good sense of boundaries as well yeah i feel like some of you could have that um like that could be a thing here one needing to stand up for yourself a little bit more you are the empress so this is um we have we have at the end of this reading as i'm closing these things unfolding you hold back because this connection has had some toxicities you have had heartbreak in between i believe this is the other person if someone here has um broken your heart you do feel very strongly about them but these are the things remember that part about communicating and holding your boundaries um creating new for yourself so you it may not be with this person but it may it's not ruling it out it's saying like how do we clean this how do we mend and also if that doesn't feel right for you how do you mend yourself all right guys i think that this is your reading and i'm wishing you all the best and i if you do like this uh, message please do um comment like subscribe and i hope to see you again for another um message on this channel take care